Hey there guys, welcome back to another YouTube video, and uh, I know I posted. I must be in heaven, right? Yeah, okay, I know, I don't post, I hardly ever post anything, and when I do, it's m mostly a project from my class. I've been kind of getting lazy, and I'm sorry, um, but uh, anyway, today we're talking about something different, okay? Well, I mean, it's still technology-based, but... Google Drive is snooping through your files and photos. That's pretty bad. I mean, that sounds pretty bad. Do you want Google looking at what you have in your drive? Google Drive goes through your files, your personal files and photos for copyright. Well, yes, I do understand the need of copyright. That's still an infringement of privacy. And what are you going to do? It's not like you're posting a movie to YouTube. Yes. Yeah, sure. You can end up posting a movie and sharing it with your friends, right? Because that is the thing that people do, right? Watch. Okay, screen recording in three, two, one. All right. So right now, you should be able to see... Oh, yep, I was watching r slash. Ignore that. Uh, so drive. I'm going to show you a prime example. Here's Spider-Man No Way Home. Don't ask how I got it. Someone else sent it to me. If I click share, oh my god, it's so stupid. Okay, it doesn't even work with, it doesn't, okay. So it doesn't even work when it actually comes to infringed content. Here's a PC program that I made. I made it. Okay. Watch what happens if I try to share it. Oh. I guess they finally undid it. Okay, so what happened is, earlier, I wasn't even able to download my own program because it was a virus or it was infringing on someone's copyright. And I'm like, dude, I made it. It's a batch file. All it does, here, here's the code. You can go download it yourself. Here's the code. Title, PC Optimizer and Fixer. By my name. I'll probably blur that out. And then the version, Echo, made by my name. I'll blur that out. Echo, recommended to run on new PCs and to run monthly. Do you want to start? And I'll ask you, if you want to start? This power is set the power config to high performance. These registries turn on storage sense. And then this, right, this whole part right here is to check if there's anything wrong with Windows. These are also manual commands you can do yourself. Like this right here, verify file will make sure that the kernel, kernel32.dll is not corrupt, and if it is corrupt, it will fix it. That's what all of this does. This just fixes problems if you have Windows. Check disk, which checks your disk, and then I have it set to do parameters of just, you know, D through Z, because that's, you know, if you plug in a flash drive or storage, and then defrag C through Z. You can't defrag A and B because they're floppy, and I... I mean, you can't, okay? And then I have, yeah, defrag Z. I did that one twice because I was testing something out. If it mattered. If I put slash F or slash B first. Uh, it doesn't, I don't think. But, and then I have another reg edit command, which this right here disables animations. See, you see how it pops up instantly? Most of your computer probably doesn't do that. It makes it faster. And then there's check disk C one more time. And then there's check disk slash R, which will actually do a little bit more. And then this right here, echo, this will come, the echo is a command that makes it pop up just these words. This will check for viruses and will restart your PC. Do you want to continue? And it's just start MPW DOS scan, which is the Windows Defender offline scanner. That's all it is. There's nothing wrong with it. I don't understand. Microsoft also late uh, listed it as a virus. It's not. Like you just saw the code. I even explained it to you. It's not even that hard. Like it, I don't understand it. Ugh. Anyway, well, I guess they fixed it because they realized, oh, it actually isn't a virus. Um, so that must mean they have some coders looking. But either way, I mean, it's it's not bad. 
but they're still infringing on your rights. Now, I get it. It's not like you're posting it's not like you're posting something to the public. That's why I think it needs to be just not a thing. Yeah, sure. I, I could put a movie on here and share it with my friends, which is copyright infringement. But at the same time, that's only with you and your friends. It's not like it's actually open to the public. So, I don't know. I think it needs to go back to the way it was before. Used to, it wouldn't automatically just scan your files. What you would do is, if, you, if there was somebody who posted a Google Drive link on a forum with a free movie, this is what you would do. You'd right-click, and then you would click on... Oh, I guess that ain't going to work oh, for me. Anyway, you'd click Report. There would be a button that would say report file. Actually, it might work if I click this and then click in a new tab. Yeah, here it is. Do not let any of that play. Uh, because I, 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 someone shared this with me, and I'm going to be deleting it right after this video. This, it was just for an example. I haven't even watched it, so I'm like, I'm gonna make sure that it's deleted. I'm gonna show you that it's been deleted. So anyway. Um, Oh, crap, what did I do? Where did the button go? Okay, woo! Stop. <laughs> anyway, you see where it says report abuse. You click report abuse, and you'll get the choose type of policy violated. And most of the time, it'll be copyright infringement, will be down to the bot child engagement, that's pretty bad. You'll click copyright infringement, and you'll click submit report. And that's how you report it, guys. Hold on, let me check one more thing here. Anyway, look, I'm going to go ahead and delete it. <laughs> Remove, trash, empty trash. There. I haven't even seen it, but, um, yeah. So, yeah, that's, that's, I, I mean, what do you guys think? Should Google Drive be poking through your Google Photos and your videos? Whatever you have on here is not private. So... I recommend switching to Mega. Mega will not look at your photos and will not look at your files unless it was reported. So, and it has to be reported a certain amount of times. So that's what I recommend using is using Mega or something like that. I wouldn't use Google Drive anymore. Alright, well. I guess that's the end of this video. I just wanted to know, I want to know your guys' thoughts and opinions. Should Google Drive be doing this? I mean, I know that copyright infringement is bad, right? But even then, it's not like you're sharing it with the whole world. But, I mean, your privacy is pretty valuable. Google already takes up most of your privacy. So, I mean... Like, if you're one of those people like, Oh, well, you're just doing something wrong. Well, guess what? You can go... You can go to a page on Google and look at all your voice recordings that you've ever done from 2010. That's when they started doing it. You know, the thing where you go, Hey, Google... It records you every time, and it will send it to them to make it better. Yeah, you can actually go to my account, and look. And ever since they introduced that feature in 2010, you can look at all your recordings. How is that not an infringement of privacy? Well, I mean, that's your choice. What, is, what, what infringes on your privacy? Anyway, guys, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you disliked it, dislike it. I am out.